Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So it's been a minute since we've done an update on this particular build in the, for the Red Oak Barn Dominium, but we're gonna take you guys through it today, show you some of the progress we've been making. And as you can see behind me, it's got skin. So, uh, you know, we have been able to make some progress even though, you know, the whole pandemic and everything that's been going on. But today we don't have anybody on site, so we're gonna get in here and get some video work done. We just finished spray foaming yesterday, so let's go check it out. So as you can see under the porch area, we do actually have all this wainscoat uh, stonework is done and the columns as well. We wrapped around the columns with the stone and we have covered soffits. There's still a little bit of trim left to do around that as well as on the front of the uh, main area, we have gutters and downspouts still to put on. So I'll talk to you a little bit about that here in just a minute. But primarily you can get a good feel for uh, how this is gonna look. We have this copper colored trim as well as the ivory colored panels, which is turning out really nice. Uh, so let's uh, head inside, show you guys kind of what's going on. Okay, so as you can see right off, we've got our insulation is uh, buried in these walls. We just spray foamed this yesterday, so we've got all the windows open right now to kind of let it breathe a little bit. But there's really not a, a real strong odor in here right now. Um, but we do have two by six studded walls and this insulation is buried in these walls. So it's about five and a half inches of uh, spray foam insulation. And then we have our blocking for our cabinets. Of course, this is the kitchen area. So the pantry, um, the oven will go here with the vent for the oven. Of course, the main living area over in this area. So one thing to note about this particular um, way that we go about insulating is on the top area, because we scab over the steel purlins that run this way, uh, we scab over those with the two by fours so that we can sheetrock on the ceiling area of this build. Well, because we're spray foaming directly to metal we do use a closed cell foam up there against the metal. And then uh, underneath that, we spray the nominal open cell foam so that we can fill the voids and the spaces because of the amount of money that it would cost to fill that void with uh, the closed cell would be an enormous amount of money. But in order to still get that thickness that we want for the whole env envelope, we do it on the walls with the closed cell, and then up here we do it with the closed cell and, or no, not closed cell here, we do open cell here, and then closed cell and open cell on the roof areas. So this goes up all over the attic areas, uh, which you can see we've actually already got our HVAC ductwork and all that is there. Uh, since the last time we updated you guys, we've actually done all the electrical work as well as the top out plumbing. So we're ready as of now for sheetrocks. So let me kind of show you additionally some other things. Okay, so as you can see in here, this is the master bedroom. We will have a vaulted ceiling in here. And if you guys haven't already checked it out, check out our layout video we did for this. It'll show you the actual plans for this build whenever we were getting started. Um, one thing you can note here is this is going to be the master shower. It is fully open with a large bench area. And in here we do have a uh, volume control with a diverter valve. So this is one of the shower heads. And then there's a send that goes over to the other side. And over here you will have a supply for a spray hand control, which will be mounted somewhere up in here. But the the actual hose will connect here and it will have a nice trim but you'll it'll give you the option of having like two heads or it'll give you the option of uh, using the you know hand control as well let's go on out to the shop so i can show you what we've been doing out here
Okay, so um, as you can see here in the shop, we do line this dividing wall with uh, plywood as well as the uh, covered R panel system that we used here. This is a sealed wall, but you can see at the top where it's the spray foam starts and stops. That's closed cell that you see on this side of the wall as well. And the, they really did a nice job uh, keeping uniformity here and how it looks. This is one inch of spray foam. And uh, we did add, I did put the tape here this time so that uh, this could be peeled off because primarily the client is going to use this spot and be mounting some uh, plywood to this. So this is something that we previously talked about so that he can have plenty of, uh, that he'll have a smooth surface to mount to. But I like the way this turned out. All of our electricals done in here, as well as our wall uh, plugs. All of that's already here. And uh, so it's going to be a nice, clean, big open shop. We will be covering these areas over here with uh, plywood, which will match kind of what the customer's wanting to do for uh, these areas. So because the reason why we have this here is because on the opposite side of the wall, this got stone. So we have the Austin stone, or I think it's called, the color is called nicotine stone and that's on the other side so you got the zip system then you got your two by six studded wall and then this will get covered on this side of the wall so um, for the most part everything's ready to roll in here next we'll be working on getting our overhead doors put in so we can close that off and seal it all off so we'll use this area for staging additional materials as well as appliances and things of that nature Okay, so here we are on the back porch, and as you can see, this is all turning out nice. Uh, this door here will be painted, but it's off the main living area. And then the thing that I like the most is this gable design truss uh, that we did here, which uh, this will be uh, painted with a DTM, uh, black, probably a black paint, but um, that will be covered, and we'll be doing that here in the upcoming days. But uh, now, as we are just finishing up on some of the trim work that we have left on the outside, and, you know, one of the things that we do here on the exterior is the reason why it does get drug out just a little bit is because we try to get all of our exterior penetrations done so that we can seal those, and then we put our outside sheets on. So this does delay some of the uh, process, whereas uh, maybe in... In other builds, people come and just do the shell completely, and then they come inside and start framing. Um, we just feel like taking that extra measure or that extra step helps us to really seal up all the penetrations to make sure that we have a really good air barrier uh, and a, as well as a break there between that panel and the insulation on the inside. That way, when it's time to insulate, all those penetrations are already sealed. So one challenge that we will have here is because we have the stone, it does make it difficult for your downspouts, but what we'll have to do is probably here, we'll cut back, come down, cut out, and down. So um, there's a little more details involved when you're having to put downspouts on this type of a, uh, of a situation. But you can see this is obviously a straight downspout um, so on the front area, it'll be the same challenge that we have here. We have to come and angle across and around that stone. Um, I'd much rather do that than to have to cut the stone or to try to bury downspouts inside a stone because then you could have uh, problems later down the road. So it's just something you have to deal with on the trim side. But overall, these are just details. So we've got things that we need to finish up on the outside. Okay, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this update on this Barn Dominion build here in the Red Oak area. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. I'm Josh Helm, wishing you all the best. Thanks for watching. Texas Best.